The Washington Post's Jennifer Rubin, who claims to be both a conservative and a friend of Israel, although I have seen zero evidence that either claim is true, she tweeted an article this week patting Democrats on the back for rejecting Virginia Governor Ralph Northam. You know the one. He dressed in blackface next to a man in a KKK hood, and he advocated for killing babies after the babies were born alive. Rubin applauded Democrats for calling for Northam to resign. She tweeted, in the Democratic Party, unlike the Republican Party, racism gets no sanctuary. The Democratic Party of 2019 simply will not abide by a white governor's racist play acting, even accounting for the passage of 35 years. Well, newsflash, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam, a Democrat who dressed in blackface next to a man in a KKK hood when he was in his late 20s and then didn't really apologize for it, he's still in office. Racism gets no sanctuary in the Democratic Party. Have you seen the Democratic Party? Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring, a Democrat, who also dressed in blackface in college when he pretended he was a rapper, still in office. Democratic Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, who wrote articles for Louis Farrakhan's Nation of Islam and had a post-it note on the world map in her congressional office over Israel, renamed Palestine. She's still in office. Democratic Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, who supports the anti-Semitic BDS movement to boycott, divest, and sanction Israel, who tweeted that Jews control the world, hypnotize the world, were her words, and then tweeted again that the only reason people support Israel is because Jews are paying them off to control them. She's still in office. And what's worse, she's still seated on the House Foreign Affairs Committee, despite her rabid anti-Semitism. Keith Ellison, former Democratic congressman, DNC deputy chair, and now attorney general of Minnesota, said Louis Farrakhan, who's called Jews evil and termites and said white men were the devil. Ellison said Farrakhan was a good role model for black youth. Ellison is still in office. The Congressional Black Caucus who met with Farrakhan in 2005, including this photo of then Senator Barack Obama hugging Farrakhan, all 21 members of the Black Caucus who are still in office today have refused to condemn or disavow Farrakhan, despite the fact, again, that Farrakhan said the evil Jews are to blame for the 9-11 terror attacks and said white people are going down. All of these elected Democrats are still in office. Linda Sarsour, who said Muslim reform activist Ayan Hirsi Ali did not deserve to have a vagina because she criticized Islam, who said there's no room for Zionism in feminism, and Tamika Mallory, who applauded for Louis Farrakhan at his Savior's Day speech last year where he called Jews evil, and then Mallory refused to condemn Farrakhan for those words. Mallory said on The View, that's not how I organize. These two women are still leaders of the Women's March, whom the Democratic Party has widely embraced. Racism gets no sanctuary in the Democratic Party, says Jennifer Rubin. My response to that, baloney. And that's my final point. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.